YouTube people, today I'm going to do a quick book review for you on The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton. There's a lot of hype about this author at the moment because her first book, The Miniaturist, was a bestseller, it did so well, and she's just come out with her second book, The Muse. This book is so eerie, I don't know if it's the historical era and the fact that she would live in this, you know, old house with this dark wood or whether it's the role of the miniaturist in this book that makes it so sinister, but I really enjoyed it. So don't worry if you don't like scary books, I didn't find it scary, it was just eerily unnerving, very sinister and ooh, mysterious. Nella arrives in Amsterdam, she's about to marry a wealthy merchant, it of course at the time is an arranged marriage so she doesn't really know her husband very well, but that's really not the main part of the story to me. Nella doesn't meet the miniaturist for a long time, she requests things for this cabinet sized dollhouse replica, but the thing that makes the book really sinister is that the miniaturist starts creating figurines and placing them in locations that predict things that then happen in her home. So as you can tell it's really it's really creepy, but not in a bad way, not in a way where I thought I don't want to turn out the light because I'm scared. Not in that way at all, it was just really well done, it made you want to unravel the mystery of the miniaturist. You're left in mystery for most of the book, which I like, because that makes you keep reading because you want to find out what happens. In terms of the historical context of this book, it's a time that I didn't really know much about. 17th century Amsterdam, I've never really studied it, so I really liked the little historical details that gave us an insight into that era, things that they're eating, things going on in trade, what the smell of the city was like, some things that are addressed in this book are what it was like to not fit the status quo at a very dangerous time not to fit the status quo. If you were a woman and not behaving like a respectable woman should, particularly for the upper echelons of society, what are the consequences of that. That's something that's sort of picked up in this book. Also something that's addressed in this book was what it was like if you weren't heterosexual at this time because it wasn't that you'd be ostracised from society in some way. It was dangerous. You could be executed for sleeping with a member of the same sex. This is something that Jessie Burton really points out as an issue for the people living at this time. I have to say, as much as I love this book, I was a little bit disappointed but the ending, I'm not obviously going to say what that was because I don't want to give it away, but I did feel quite unsatisfied and not unsatisfied in the sense that there was a cliffhanger and I wanted to know what happens or I didn't like what happened to the characters at the end. I felt like the book was moving forwards in this really driven way and then it just sort of fizzled out. But because it was so good, apart from that, I would really recommend it. I really liked her style of writing, her description, the little attention to detail, particularly when describing the figurines. So ultimately, I really enjoyed this book and I think that for anyone who loves historical fiction, who loves mystery and who likes to be a little bit creeped out, this would be a really good book for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll go and read The Miniaturist or maybe even pick up Jessie Burton's new book, The Muse. I'll be doing that as soon as possible and I'll see you in my next video, everyone. Bye!